Hello, my friends. I would ask you, as always, to take a nice breath in and an easy sigh. Oh. The breathing come back to normal. Hi, Jacob. Welcome to Touching the Edge. My name is Drake, and I'm so happy that you're, you're making the choice to, to be here, at least with me in this moment. Today, we are beginning our 40-day series that I'm entitling uh, uh, Building a Positive Intention, Preparing for the Election. And of course, once the election hits, then I'll shift the title a little bit to the aftermath of the election. But I really want to, in my own relationship to the election, to really build a positive intention. You know, uh, we have to understand that our intention is our fuel. You know, what is the fuel that you're using? In this 40 days, I'm asking you to purify that fuel, to make sure that you're working towards what you really truly value. It's easy to use something like you know, methamphetamines, for instance, and, and have people feel really great for a period of time from it. But that fuel doesn't really work. It begins to destroy the person and make them something that they would never have chosen to be if they could have seen it before. If they could see the aftermath of using this drug and what it has done to them before they started, I don't think they ever would have used it. So to me, what we're doing in this 40 days essentially is making a choice. It's the election, the choice, the real true choice is are we choosing division or are we choosing unity? Is it us versus them or is it us? Even if we are in conflict, even if we are in conflict amongst us, amongst the family, it's still the family. So I'm asking you to choose to connect with community rather than fracturing in the course of this 40 days. I'm asking you to connect to the essential choice is whether you are going to choose love or hate, because that's the essential element of what the election is about. I'm not talking about what specific candidate that you're choosing. I'm talking about how you're choosing them. So in this next 40 days, let's choose love. Let's gradually build our practice in this next 40 days so that we're able to shield our consciousness and be in contact with the positive vibration. Let's understand that we really need to plot the course of our 40 days. Where are you at now and where do you want to be at at the end of the 40 days? It's important to choose a path of kindness. If you feel better about how things are going for you personally, you will feel better about what's going on in the world as well. So let's choose a positive intention and be aware that your intention is infectious. We can choose to be part of the healing of our country and part of the healing of our world, choosing through wisdom, choosing through support, accessing our strength and our creativity, being aware of faith of the, of the people in our community, accessing surrender to the situation so that we can love the entirety even as we're dealing with the challenge and connect ourselves to the patience that we need to have. Through doing this, we're going to find courage and we're going to find a way of healing through purifying ourselves in terms of what our true motives are. So the mission today, should you choose to accept it, is to ask yourself, what is it that you truly value? What is the foundation of your life? As I've said many times, my deepest values are kindness, compassion, joy, and positive indifference. And that's part of what I want to access in terms of the election. No matter what happens, I know we're going to be all right. So, today, ask yourself, don't assume you know it, what do you value? What are the essential values of your life? It's not a destination, it's a direction. So I'm so happy about this 40 days. You know, it's part of my cosmology that anything that happens during the 40 days is meant to happen during the 40 days. Everything is working for us, and it's not happening to us. Here we go. I'm going to ring the bell. Take a nice breath in, 
and make that ah sound. Ah. The breathing come back to normal. Eyes open. Remember, what truly makes America great is its aspiration for nobility and freedom. Let's choose freedom and not be trapped by the attitudes and the actions of others. I bring my hands into prayer position and I bow to you, my friend. Namaste. Let's do this.